Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about prompt engineering. Prompt engineering simply is the art of communicating with ChatGPT. It's the way that you pose your question or instruction to ChatGPT. The better your prompt, the better the quality of the output from ChatGPT. Okay, in this video, I'm going to discuss two tips. There are around, there are many tips but i'm going to go through maybe 10 of them and in this video we are going to discuss two of them so the first one okay let me open a new chat then i will go here and the first one is to clarify the objective to make your objective clear for chat gpt example write a paragraph i will start writing my prompt write a paragraph about the advantages of exercising in the morning for example so advantages of exercising in the morning this is my objective is to discuss this topic enter and chat gpt will give you a paragraph can we improve it of course this is the simplest the shortest form of prompts one sentence as we move forward and we learn more tips, then we can get mixing things together. However, in each tip, I would like to discuss and show you the iteration process. So you read this paragraph and you say, okay, I like it, but I want to make it nicer. For example, nice, I will iterate, I will respond, nice, thank you. Please add another short paragraph with a conclusion or as a conclusion in conclusion harnessing the advantages of morning exercise and so on so this is iteration and you can go on and on to improve the quality of the output okay perfect let's introduce another tip which is giving a persona and this is one of my favorite personas or tips for prompt engineering and what does it mean here you start with act as an expert in SEO your task is to write a SEO optimized blog post about exercising in the morning for example okay so this is a persona act as an expert in SEO as act as an expert in exercising or fitness act as an expert in digital marketing and so on hit enter and here is your blog post okay is it perfect definitely not you need to read you need to make sure the facts are 100 percent accurate and then you can improve it how can you improve it by iterating by replying and responding to chat gpt i'll say nice thanks can you add one more point about why exercising in the morning is more efficient compared to exercising in the evening and don't worry much about the typo typos that's fine and nice thing also it gives you the introduction and gives you conclusion because you told ChatGPT, I want you to act as an expert in this field. So it knows that you need to start conclusion, start with the introduction, end with conclusion, and between the meat of your blog post. And here also, it gives you some keywords. You need to read and remove any additional information that you cannot. My advice, always, always do not copy and paste the answers. Okay, don't copy from ChatGPT and, and, and paste it into your blog or into your email or so on, because this is dangerous. ChatGPT will add comments sometimes and so on. So always you need to read and edit and add your tone of voice. Okay, perfect. This video, we discussed two tips for prompt engineering. One is giving the objective. Second one is the persona. In the next video, we are going to discuss more tips and we will discuss two more starting from defining the recipient or the audience and then setting the context now in this video we are going to continue with our prompt engineering journey and we'll discuss about two more tips the first one is identifying the audience so the best way to to, to give an example to explain the tip so i'll tell chat gpt write an email to my students telling them about 
my new course the students are beginners in AI and they are 18 plus years old something like this and you can continue the more details you give the better response from ChatGPT. but we are just demonstrating demonstrating the concept hit enter and you will have the answer okay you can edit you can change you can uh, respond and iterate as you go to improve the quality as well it's rare that the answer will be perfect from the first time so always you need to iterate iterating means that you respond nice make it shorter please no need for icons for example okay let's see and made it shorter but added some icons okay if you don't want them you can tell it to remove them this is one the second one is to give a context give a context for example i want to write or let me mix things up so i would say act as an as a digital marketing expert i want you to write a linkedin linkedin post about innovation in the energy sector okay this is act as and the context what is the context the post will be for my followers and i am an influencer this is a context influencer in the energy sector area in the energy area i have more than 100,000 followers and i post every day a tip or two about energy saving for example okay then we will have the answer okay it will give you a lot of information i don't want that i can iterate and iterate that's nice but it's too long make it shorter maximum max 100 words for example okay that's a lot even okay made it shorter this is iteration perfect so we learned in this video two tips one is the identify the audience and the second one give a context perfect in the next video we are going to continue with two or three more tips and we will take the mood and also the boundaries in this video we are going to continue with our prompt engineering and we have two or three more tips okay the first one is specifying the mood okay for example i will tell ChatGPT to write an email to my colleague about the project they supposed to deliver this week be friendly for example be friendly okay be friendly even the typing mistake don't worry about it chat gpt will still answer so be friendly this is the mood or you can say be friendly and assertive and ChatGPT will give you the email if you feel it's too long you can iterate and make it shorter or replace part of it or add or or okay i can say nice suggest a meeting to discuss the topic this coming wednesday for example okay so it can also edit the email and add and add here see how about we schedule a meeting for this wednesday i have blocked off xyz time it's amazing it's professional email friendly assertive at the same time giving you the details okay also you can do what you can do is you can reply to an email imagine you received an email and you want to reply so i can give an instruction to chat gpt say reply to an email from my colleague asking me for an update about xyz project tell them the project is on schedule and planned to be completed this month ask them for a meeting so you can also reply right and reply very nice 
see update on x y hey hey my colleagues i hope you are doing well thank you for reaching out and you're interested in the progress of okay i am pleased to inform you that the project is right on the schedule see professional email we have been making steady progress and all the key milestones are being met if you want to add more details to the email also add it in the instructions in the prompt for chat gpt and they will take care of it giving our commitment to keeping everyone in the loop i would love to have a meeting to provide a more details see how professional it's beautiful nice can you make it more formal for example if you want to be more formal yes see i trust this message see the tone changed now our team has the see read the words are more professional more formal let's see huh? it's not better or worse it depends how do you want to sound recognizing the importance of maintaining transparent communication i'm inclined to propose a formal maybe it's too formal it depends what tone of voice you want and you can iterate okay one more tip and here i would say about the boundaries or the the length of the text for example for example if i want to say write uh, uh, an insta or write a facebook post about the new iphone for example make it less than 20 words so this is a limit boundary excited excitingly sleek and powerful just got my hands on the new iphone wow nice post right nice but okay nice okay give me three different suggestions so i can choose for example huh? see and it will give you one and feeling the latest iphone elevate your tech something sleek sophistication and whichever you like okay you can pick it up nice nice now give me i'm showing you more iterations give me a couple of the same post that are suitable for my linkedin see thrill to experience okay gives you different style nice this is nice tip here you can add it and format it into a table for example nice add the above posts into a table with one column for the social platform see a table format very nice then you can copy paste it easy facebook post linkedin post social platform see it's not accurate because here it says facebook it, th there is no need for this column so right because i have facebook posts and linkedin posts that's what we say always make sure 100 percent you read before you copy and paste every time 100 percent you need to read it and correct it or modify it okay perfect these are six tips there are many there are hundreds there is no limit the last thing i want to show you we can mix things up for example i can say mix the persona act as a social media expert you have so this is the persona then i'll add some context you have a great experience writing amazing engaging posts on different platforms different platforms i want you to write a post for my channels including linkedin facebook instagram and what else tiktok about the following a new course i just released about growing your online presence on linkedin the course is affordable and have and has practical tips make the post short and direct use a strong hook at the beginning see i'm giving I'm giving many instructions right and context persona i will put boundary here make each post less than 20 words right all these are instructions so chat will understand better and give me a better response linkedin elevate your linkedin game unlock the power of online presence with my affordable practical course join now ready to stand out online discover my budget friendly linkedin different see very nice course for a stronger digital footprint footprint enroll today see it's strong hook
There is also CTA call to action at the end. Instagram level up on LinkedIn. Unleash your online potential through my pocket friendly course. Different wording every time. TikTok dominate LinkedIn. Affordable course. Amazing. Right. I love them all. I can take them and just edit a little bit to my tone of voice and post them. Perfect. These are different tips. Try to practice each one of them. Your task now is to practice. Try to give different instructions. Try to 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 give different let's say iterations or format or versions of your instructions to ChatGPT and see the difference when you post. One last thing I want to show you when you give let me open a new chat when you give the same give the same question to ChatGPT twice most pro probably it will give you different wordings. Maybe the answer the message is the same but the wordings are different. What do I mean? Okay, here like give me five ideas for a birthday gift for my niece he she or uh, she is five years old okay so these are five ideas puzzle set and so on so on let's see if i copy the same one same question and go a new chat Control v and art and craft building they are different answers maybe there are some common ones but in general they will be different because ChatGPT doesn't copy from the internet and paste it to you it gives you unique original content this is also good information to know it perfect we learned a lot so far try to practice and i will see you in the next video thank you very much